can't stop thinking about that fog, Chad. And it was strange. It, it, it made me feel different. Yo, I felt the same way, man. I mean, that fog did a number on all of us. Yeah. And I, I feel terrible that I was accusing Teresa of lying to me. But she would never lie to me. If she knew something about Sam Bennett being my father, she would have told me. She wouldn't keep something like that a secret. Anyway, no, and it had to have been the fog. You know, kind of like the Mistral in France and the Santa Ana winds in California? Oh, yeah, well, I know about the Santa Anas from living in California, man. And hot, dry winds can make people crazy. Right, in the Mistral in France. It's a cold, dry wind, and it does the same thing. So are you saying that this fog is kind of like that one? It had to be. I mean, because I definitely wasn't thinking straight or acting like myself. Simone? Yes, Chad? Yeah, well, there's a lot of that going around at night, man. There's some bizarre things going down, yo. Oh, man. I cannot believe I did something so stupid. I mean, now Simone definitely thinks I'm in love with her. And of course, she can't see that I'm in love with her sister. But how could you be kissing Simone and not know it? Yo, I wish I knew, man. I mean, I swear to you, I thought I was kissing Whitney. Can't you tell the difference between them when you kiss? Well, I thought I could. Yeah. I mean, I should be able to tell them apart, right? Tell me, man, I don't know what the hell happened. I mean, uh, it's that fog, man. That fog was just making me feel all weird. I don't know. It, suddenly, I didn't know where I was. I guess I didn't even know who I was with, because next thing you know, I was kissing Simone. I thought I was kissing Whitney. This is very bizarre. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, a lot of strange things have happened tonight. And this fog was strange. Yeah, but at the same time, man, I mean, you guys get fog here all the time in Harmony, right? You living on the coast and all? Yeah, we get fog, but not like this. Yeah, well, whatever it was, man, it messed me up big time, all right? Because Whitney says she don't ever want to see me again. Because you were kissing Simone. Yeah, I think that's a part of it, a big part of it. I don't know, man. It, Seemed like there was something else bothering her. I mean, she didn't tell me what. She just clammed up and ran off. But then you don't know what it could have been? I have no idea. Well, I mean, you're going to have to talk to her. Now find out what's going on and try to work this out. Yeah, I know, I know. Just hope we can, man, because Whitney seemed pretty upset. Hey, we're looking for you guys. Hey, thought you got lost or something. This fog's been really weird. Yeah. Timmy feels icky now whenever he sees Chad with Whitney. Wondering if they are brother and sister. I think we should give Chad and Whitney some time alone. Yes, yeah, they need to talk. Hey, you guys, um, we're gonna head on home, so we'll talk to you later. All right. You bastard! How could you do that Jimmy, to Sheridan? Stop! Please leave him alone. It's not what you think. Oh, then what the hell is it? You know, I heard what Sheridan said that she saw you in bed with another woman. No, it's not true, is it, Louise? No, of course not. Look, Sheridan, what's going on? I mean, why would you say something so horrible about my brother? Louise got called to the police station. It was foggy and I was worried. So when I called the station and he wasn't there, I was afraid that maybe he'd been in an accident or something. So I drove into town looking for him and on my way, I saw his car parked outside a house not far from here. When I looked inside, I saw his tuxedo jacket. So I went to the house and I knocked on the door and I found that it was open. So I went inside and I called out to Luis. I heard voices, which I followed to the bedroom. That's when I saw Luis making love to another woman. And how could you do this? It wasn't me. What? Oh, then who the hell was it? 
Well, well it's, you're, it's suddenly you acquired a twin Ethan, brother? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Maybe your eyes played tricks on you because of the fog. The fog? Yes, I mean, it made Ethan act so strangely, and it caused problems for Chad and Whitney, too. I suppose it's possible, but... No, th there was no fog at that house. It wasn't a fog. There's another explanation, and I'm gonna find out what it is. Our Sheridan and I don't have a future. I'd like to hear the explanation myself. I don't know how you're going to explain it, Louise. I'm a cop. I'm gonna pursue it like I would any other investigation. I'm gonna return to the scene of the crime. Sheridan, I want you to take me to the house where you think you saw me with the woman. I don't think I could stand to Sheridan, if you there. have any hope for us, at all. All right. I'm coming with you. So am I. Good, we're gonna get to the bottom of this once and for all. This is the house. The car was parked right here under the street light. Well, there's no car there now. Well, there wouldn't be if it was Luis's car. He's with us now. Look, my car's not here because I was never here. Come on, let's go see what's going on inside. I'm just hoping that whatever we find is going to clear up this mystery once and for all.